Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at construction 3 where we construct a line perpendicular to a given line L passing through a given point not on the line. For construction number three, we want to look for the line perpendicular to a given line L. So this is our line passing through a given point not on line L. So this is our point A and we basically want to construct a perpendicular line going through A um, that is perpendicular to our line L. There's two methods for this. So the easier method um, that you can use is you can actually go and use your set square. So our set square looks like this and the easiest way to do this construction would be simply to line up your set square with your line L and obviously your set square is at 90 degrees and draw your line through point A and you've got your perpendicular line going through A. So that's one method. However, sometimes on the exam you may be asked to use your compass on straight edge, which means we can't use our set square. Okay, so if they don't specify you can use that, no problem. But if they do and they ask you to use a compass on a straight edge, you're going to need to use this method. Okay, so what we're going to use first of all is you're going to go, going to go and get your compass. And what you want to do is you want to place your compass at point A and we are going to set our compass so that it's a, a larger distance than what it would be to point to our line L. Okay, so just kind of bring it slightly over your line and you're going to draw an arc where your compass meets your line L. Okay, so I've just um, drawn two arcs there where they intersect my line L and I'm going to label them X and Y. What you're going to do next then is you're going to place your compass at point X and again make sure your um, compass is more than halfway and you're going to draw an arc down here then you're going to go over to point Y and you're going to draw an arc there and where they intersect you're going to draw yourself a little point and then from that and your point A, you're going to connect those together and you will have found the perpendicular bisector or sorry the perpendicular line I should say that goes through the point A which is perpendicular to your line. Thanks for watching today's video. In our video we went through how to construct a line perpendicular to a given line L passing through a given point not on the line.